Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic. I see we spawned into a bit of a rainstorm here, but um, we got a new quest. We've entered a new chapter. I don't think that's the right way. And visibility is shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got a new chapter. Um, we have to basically investigate that door, I think, that we came across in the caves. Uh, like, just two episodes ago, I think. Um, but, first, uh, we got some business to take care of. So today we're going to just take care of that business and we'll come back to the uh, main quest in a little bit. First, we're going to check for, basically the plan for today is we're going to check for side quests in the old camp. We're going to uh, sell what we can in the old camp. Not that we need the ore, but we may as well. We're going to check for side quests in the new camp. And we're going to sell what we can in the new camp. And we're going to buy some armor, because I think I have a suspicion that the armor is locked based on chapter. So we'll try and purchase that armor that we were looking at last time, but we're too inexperienced to use. So that's kind of the outlook for today. Not a very exciting episode, but one that should position us pretty well for the future. And then um, we can also try to get a new one-handed weapon as well. Um, we have a two-handed weapon that we can switch to. Excuse me. But uh, I think we're going to hold off on using that and switching the two-handed until we get the next level of two-handed skill. Man, I am so glad this path is here because visibility is dog shit. And we can slay whatever beasts are out there, too, if there are any out there. But, uh, we've kind of done a pretty thorough job of at least cleaning the area between the three camps. Now, there's still... Wow, I like how the color grading just changed instantly. Um, but yeah, there's still some areas... Like, specifically all the areas outside of this narrow stretch of land that the three camps span is probably still infested with stuff, but this narrow stretch we've pretty much cleaned out. Okay, and there's the old camp. So, might talk to Diego since he's got a ear to the ground probably on the going going on in that camp. Man, all that rain, you'd think this moat would have filled up a little bit, but unfortunately they don't have the physics for that. Yeah, I probably took the accidental worst path, didn't I? I bet if I had gone left, I would have been at the back entrance already. Oh, well. Uh, we shall see. Yeah, because these are the two goobers that tried to attack me that one time. All right. What's done is done. Ah. Gotta get out of the moat. Hey guys, how's it going? Seems like nothing much has changed. I'm gonna guess there probably aren't really much in the way of side quests available. Take care. Um, just because... I imagine most of the side quests are going to be faction specific that require entrance to the um, the inner sanctum, <clears throat> excuse me, the inner sanctum or the inner keep. 
of the old camp, which, uh, even though we technically have access, I'm not interacting with that because that we shouldn't. It you bugs, told me I could have so. as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. Perfect. We can stock up on our stew a little bit. Okay, no one cares if I use this. Perfect. There we go. Because now I can get another three portions of stew. Hey, mud. You're my best friend here. The others only want to get rid of me all the time. I'm really grateful to you. That's great, mud. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. There we go. So there's that. Let's go see the blacksmith now. Heck, we could even see if we could fight that other guy in the arena. Let's see. Any? Do we have anything we can pan fry? I don't think so. Ooh, guarding a door. Listen, this running around is really getting tiring. Shouldn't we look for a cozy place and get comfy somewhere? No. Okay, he's got no dialogue. I do vaguely recall having talked to him before. I'm not listening to all the blathering. Uh, do do. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. Alright, so he did not get his ore restocked, it looked like. Uh, that's fine. Oh, let's see. Not that's too much. Uh, I don't know if I really have anything that I want to part that's at that. Oh, here we go. There we go. Hopefully there's not a quest that's like find ten torches, but... I mean, their inventories don't seem... They get bigger, but they don't phase out anything you've sold to them, so... We got that going for us. Uh, Swiss hammer, crude sword... I don't think there's uh, much here for us. You're like a big brother to me. I never had a big brother or a small one. My parents didn't want me, but I'm sure it was difficult for them. Sure it was. <laughs> wow. The sass. Oh, I suppose he's going to be. All right. Um, let's see. Shadow. All right. Where are you from? You must be happy as well that you finally found somebody who understands you. I'm from Carinas. Have you ever been there? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Why do you ask if it doesn't matter? All right, now we should be getting to the main merchant quarter here. Some... You have to... Let's see, Dexter. Better not go rush Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. That won't happen again. Anything really good? Thorn of wounds sucks. Yeah, the crude sword is better than that. <laughs> Although, it, I assume... Yeah, the appeal of this is that it has a lower strength required for use. But as soon as you hit the required 20 strength, you're better off switching to the crude sword. So, nothing we can really... Does he have more ore, at least? 
No, okay, that's surprising. Last time we entered a new chapter, everyone kind of got had their orb refreshed at least. Show me your goods. Oh yeah, see, Fisk here has six hundred ore. Uh, club. Okay, club sucks. Uh, wow, we sold him a lot of nail clubs. Withered axe. Root sword, disciple sword, or digger's discipline. Okay, now we have... Alright. We can take the broadsword. Because that is... I don't even have to look to know that's better than what we have. Oh, we gotta unlock that, but... Ooh, I wonder if we'll have to play around with some of that. Uh, anything here that I might want to sell? Ah. We can sell this. I don't think we need that anymore. Uh... Yeah, because that will get us 10 ore, which is about what we get by selling the weed to the um, the old camp. Alright, I want to keep 30 in reserve, just in case there's a quest for collecting those that come up. I don't know why we have a separate stack of coins, that's a little weird. Uh, here, we can sell a lot of these claws. Actually, I feel safe about selling the claws because those are optional. And this applies generally to, like, the teeth and stuff, too, and the wolf skins. These are optional because you have to spend skill points to learn how to harvest them, so... I don't think there's going to be a quest for that. Alright. Uh, can we get... What is it? Lurker skin? We can get most of his ore. Not all of it. Well, not without parting with more stuff. I'm keeping these minecrawler eggs in reserve, too. Uh, not that I think they'll be used for anything, but... Alright, now we gotta scroll all the way up. There we go. Now we can throw these in until we're equal. And uh, probably save after this transaction just because of the sheer amount of time it's, it's uh, going to take. Honestly, we can probably... Oh, we could probably sell our weapon to if he has the... Um... Well, he's not going to have the, <laughs> the ore for it after we're done with this, so... We'll have to find a different vendor to sell our mace to, but as long as I'm not involved, totally idiotic. There we go. Just another two hundred ore. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. All right, just another hundred fifty ore. Yeah, he's going to have like 100 ore left after this. Maybe not even that. We'll see. Yep, he's going to have less than 100 ore. I 
There we go. That would lighten our load significantly, significantly if we actually had to worry about... Uh... Oh, hey, we can put on this amulet, too. It's actually... Let's unequip that, and then... Let's equip this. Protection against arrows would be nice. All right, and then, yeah, this is 37, this is 55, so that's a... You won, okay? Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polish. Wow, the guard is like, you won, and I didn't even fight him. Here we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. So that's all the merchants here, and I don't think anyone else is going to have a quest for us, so. We can talk to Whistler. People never learn. How's it going? Good. You've done me a favor. I'll do you one. I'll tell Diego that you're a reliable man. All right. We'll pet his bald head for luck and continue onwards. I suppose I could check the map maker, but honestly, I don't. I don't think he's gonna have any more maps. How often have I told you? I don't care. Go away. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Hey, you! I'm looking for a dude. Hey, you! You've been lucky there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Hey, you! Same old story. Uh, uh, is Herrick the guy? No, but we can, uh. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh. Save here. So you think you're one of the wild boys, do you? Why don't you try it with me? You want to get whacked? All right. If that's what you want. Don't panic. Put He's out enough. Put He's finished him off. There we go. Oh, what? Yes. Well done. Oh, who got me? Did, did it just count as an attack on all the guards or? So you think you're one of the wild boys, do you? Why don't you try it with me? You want to get whacked? All right. If that's what you want. Boring fight. Uh, b -b He's had enough. Oh, he has two blades. So, hey, we got some uh, components to make uh, swords if we wanted to. Okay, we have no dialogue with him. Eric's awake. It was a fair fight. You really polished my gob, man. All right. <laughs> uh, digger, digger. All right, so I think we can get out of here now. He actually did damage to me. A very teeny tiny amount of damage, but he did do damage. I also like that uh, we can actually kill uh, Bloodwind now. So that's how much more power we have. Anyone else want to fight? Uh, you know what? I didn't check by the arena. Let's check by the arena. Because we should be able to do something there now. Uh, there's mud. Uh, are you the arena man? No, you're the sneaky thief guy. Wee! Actually, kind of impressed that. 
Oh, he doesn't give us an option to uh, fight. Unless I can fight... Uh, unless I talk to this guy first. You fight in the arena? I was sent here from the swamp by my masters to fight for the sleeper. I'll fight here for his higher glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. All right, uh, we don't have the option to fight him. That's unfortunate, but whatever. The test has been passed already, so. All right, let's go out into the big bad wild and make our way to the new camp. And then we'll do our business there. Hopefully get some more experience by reporting in on the swamp camp happenings. Because I need uh, about 1,700 experience at the next level. But I'm going to need two levels before I can take two-handed weapons. And then at that point, I'll probably just dump everything in the strength. Alright. Hopefully there will be some critters we can kill along the way. That will boost our XP. Hey guys, how's it going? Or I suppose I could just beat up like the bridge guard right in the me, but uh, they haven't done anything to me, so I'm not going to just beat them up simply because they exist for XP. And they did help keep me safe at the lower levels, so... There's my gratitude, not beating you up. Now that I have the ability to. Excuse me. Alright. Yeah, nothing new this way. I think we're pretty cleared out. Anything on the planes to attract our attention? Not really. Could visit the mine. I haven't visited the mine in a while, but I'm not sure if there's anything left to do there. It seems like we're mostly over the mine related stuff. I mean, I, I could get. Um, Try to get the key or break into that one guy's chest, but eh. is it really worth it for what I'm gonna find? Like we did the other guy's chest and we got what, like under door from it. So I mean, I guess I'd be doing them for the experience more than anything at this point. I went the wrong way. Crap. All right. I'm still kind of impressed that there's like no guards posted outside they have watch hours and everything built but no guards which kind of makes your fortifications useless if you don't you know actually man them all right so we there we go let's pick the other way Again, not really seeing any new creatures populating the area, so we did it. We wiped them out, which sucks because I want to kill them again for XP, but still. I wonder if it would just be faster to follow the river into the new camp instead of following the road. Yeah, I think it will be. Maybe. It depends on how fast we swim. No. Okay, that's how they... I was wondering. Well, maybe. So if we follow this outcropping, yeah, then it becomes a shortcut. But we gotta follow that outcropping, because otherwise the current is so strong we cannot swim against it. Uh, I suppose I should... Just because it's a new chapter. Just in case there's dialogue to be triggered. Okay. 
I could definitely see this game being the one to trigger a quest by approaching the gate guard to enter the city and then me missing that quest by cheating my way out of having to go through the main gate. So. Alright. Uh, I'm about to do something really stupid, maybe. Some people Hello, friend. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Sad performance! A tiny gust of wind and he would have toppled over anyway! <laughs> Oh yeah. That wasn't very clever. The Rice Lord is uh not uh oh, not very strong. That's not really my problem. Things would have gone. And now we can uh You'll be sorry for that. Will I though? There we go. Uh, we can check the weapon we got from him. We also got some other things from him, too. Uh, mole rat grease. Interesting. So the scepter is worse than everything we have. Okay. Well, it's still something. And that's what he gets for treating all his workers like shit, so... There we go. Oh, I was supposed to go there. All right. Oh well. We'll uh, we'll just have to get a little wet. Stop. You know the rules. Scrapers and rogues only. Are you going to try and stop me? No. Just go. Let's talk about something else instead. <laughs> Uh, more drag. Hey, how's it going? Uh, apparently I'm we don't have dialogues. Choose something. Uh, does he have? I don't think he has any ore. Nope. So you are useless to me. Uh, you have a name. But you don't say anything. You guys don't say anything. Silas, how's it going? I'm not listening to all that blathering anymore. Oh. If you're... That was lucky. No, that was me hitting the wrong key. Hey, how's it going? Greetings. What do you do? What are you doing? I'm making rice snaps, boy. Here, have a bottle. But don't tell Silas. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. That's a good thing, really. While I'm busy, the Rice Lord's lap dogs leave me alone. What can you tell me about the Rice Lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Well, the only one who can stand up to him is Horatio, but... Uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the Rice Lord's head in, but uh, he'd never really do it. It'd go against his beliefs. Uh, Horatio, huh? Is that what the... Uh, we got Silas, Cypher... Can we... Okay, we, we don't have the option to rat him out. See, I don't know what's up here. Oh, I don't think I've talked to these people before. Oh, they aren't worth talking to. Okay. Oh, yeah, keep an eye out for Horatio. If we see him, maybe we can talk him into beating up the Rice Lord as well. Horatio's not the gate guard, is he? I'm not going to go back to check now, but... 
I'll have to just try and remember that for uh, next time. All right, let's do our rounds here. Uh, mercenary, mercenary. Um, oh, you know what we can do? Hello. Oh, we can't. See you later. Oh, we can't sell him the weed. We can sell it to these guys, though. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some, too. There we go. Hello? Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... You know... All right, I should have two more left to give out. Hello? Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. Unless you can only give out the northern you know. Which is like the basic kind that you get for free. Hello? Do you want some swamp we weed? Go. Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know. No. You know, more like, yeah, no. Uh, Torloff. All right, keep going up. I guess we'll try to buy our armor. Same old story. Hello. Uh. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn your armor. Apart from that, they don't come cheap. Give me the heavy armor. You're not experienced enough to wear the heavy armor. Come back as soon as you've gained more experience. All right, so we still can't wear the heavy I'd armor. I'd like to have the medium armor. This armor is a good piece of work. It'll protect your body well. All right, so as I suspected, it is based on chapters. Can I we... want to learn more about fighting with a two-handed sword. I can't teach you anything. You don't have enough experience. <laughs> All right. Uh, we haven't talked to Orc in a while, have we? Hello. Apparently, I still have swamp weed. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some too. All right. May I? So we at least have our heavier armor, which we can equip right now. I like how our armored pauldron changed sides. <laughs> but there we go. We got a nice good old set of that. So 55 against weapons. Well, basically 55 melee, 10 arrow, and 25 fire protection. So just overall better than what we had. We might even be able to take on that. Well, maybe not go Stop. that far. Nope. I just wanted to see his name. Okay, I'm not going to bother selling any more swamp weed. We have plenty of ore, and we have plenty of things to sell, too. Whee. And we can just kind of play. Hello? What do you do? You okay? All's quiet for now. For now? If the rogues keep up, and okay. that's... Uh... Is there any... Tr Man, there's always... Tr okay. Yeah, so nothing new there. I guess we'll see what some of these other guys have. We have wolf, rogue... Rogue might be the class name. I'm looking for better armor. Since you're one of us now, I can sell you one. Oh, 
Okay, that might have been nice once upon a time, but the heavy bandit's armor is worse than... It's basically the light mercenary armor, so... Whoops, missed opportunity. <laughs> Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get some... Okay, he does have a lot more ore. I don't know what this is, but I want it. And I can afford to needlessly buy things now. Uh, yeah, so we have the longbow. Let's see if he has any... Okay, so he doesn't have any better weapons. Oh, I have nine in the Northern Dark left. Okay. Let's give him... Here, we can give him that. And then the Light Mercenary Armor. Now let's balance it out with his ore because... 640 is probably yeah 790 so I might have to pull my blood fly wings out of it out of this deal I don't know what the blood fly book does but we're gonna use it and find out Going and going and going and going and going. Hang on, better not go rushing into anything. Uh, I thought this was going to be a shorter episode, but we're already coming up on 40 minutes here. Which I suppose, by some accounts, is a shorter episode, but. Alrighty. At the very least, I think we're going to be very well equipped for whatever comes next. Certainly, I feel very confident. Especially, like, I don't know if the Rice Lord is always weak and just relies on you not starting a fight with him and finishing it before his slugs can intervene. But, um, like, I, we took out Bloodwind in, like, one or two hits. We took out that other guy in a hit. So... I think, and we were already doing pretty good against, like, the Black Goblins and stuff. And we even held our own against an Orc and one. So, I think we're doing pretty darn well right now. Heck, we took out, uh, Stone Golem. <laughs> Although, that he was a little unresponsive to combat. So, I don't know what the dealio was there. Uh, actually, you know what, we'll... He can compensate me with some grapes and my favorite meal, grilled meat. Uh. <laughs> All right. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. Okay. I uh, will start with the ore. I thought going back would just, like, go back to this interface. I didn't think it would, like, completely exit the, um... As I saw, he was offering three less value than I was. Excuse me. So I thought, oh, I'll go back and add something, but... <laughs> oh, well, lesson learned. Uh, we just have to wait for this, which I wish would go faster, but doesn't because nothing works. <laughs> no key combination I have tried has made this process go any faster. Definitely one of the, uh, the downsides, but at least it lets me hold it down. I mean, having the 
control D every single piece of ore would be really tiring. Even more than just holding it down. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Almost there. Stay on target. Stay on target. We should be able to... Damn it. I forgot to silence my phone before recording. Oh, well. We should be able to uh, negotiate a better... Deal, I think. Uh, I want your book. Did, I forget. Did we sell our weapon? We did not sell our weapon already. So actually, we have this and this. Wow, we only get 145 for. Not even 145 for our mace. That was super good. But we had to pay like 1600 for the sword that was maybe like 20, only 20% 20 better. Okay. So 820. And then we can finish this deal off with a pair of torches. There we go. And there should be another trader around here. Hello. Oh, he's the damn guy. All right. Uh, I think this is the guy that liked to pick fights. Hi, who are you? It's none of your business. I don't like your mug. Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Ah. He will not start combat with me. Okay, so he's a skill trainer. I thought they had another merchant. Maybe I'm mistaken. Come on. Alright, he is. Oh, wait, wasn't that the guy I beat up for the little house? I suppose we can check with Lee. But Sharky, I need a few things. There we go. I don't think I really have much I want to sell him. Okay, so he's going to supply us with. All right, let's. I got to back out. Uh. Cab, that's right. So, 45 is the damage of this two handed. 55 is it. So, if he has a single handed. I need a few things. Bigger that, or that does more damage than 55, we can take that. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. He does not. He only goes up to God's Hammer, which does 52 damage. And actually, you know, I I will sell now that our... Wow, only 15 for that? What a ripoff. So, just because all of our... Even our single-handed does more damage than the one two-handed weapon we have access to there's no sense keeping it since now at a minimum even after i get the two-handed skill the uh, you know i can't it wouldn't be an upgrade for me anymore all right uh Okay, he's also a skilled trainer, apparently. All right. So I guess for last, I'll just uh, hop on the by the gate and see if Horatio can be found there, because I know I'm gonna forget otherwise. 
But otherwise, I think we're pretty good with where we're at. Uh, we have equipment upgrades. We can go exploring. I might try my hand at the um, at that weird camp that's up the hill that's hostile to us. I'm not going to expect anything great coming from that, but we do have more armor now. Okay. Oh, it's Hello. Jarvis at the gate. How are things? The scrapers are still collecting. Okay, nothing new back. there. Yeah, I can't remember who Horatio was. Maybe they're at the other gate? I don't know. I think those were both gate guards. It was up. Hey, best buddy. How are you, my friend? Oh, man, what do you want? Just wanted to see how you are. <laughs> All right. Yep, nothing much to do here, so... Continuing on. And we'll see if any of these people are Horatio. Rogue. Maybe. Rogue, rogue. Gate guard, gate guard. Okay, so as I thought. Actually, where did I find? I swear it was like overlooking the new camp. Like up here, I think. I might just go up there and see how much I can do uh, this episode before I leave it. Just so there's a, at least like a little combat today. We haven't had much combat today. But uh, I also can't remember where that camp was. Because up that river is the new camp. So it would have to be like a left turn here. Which I think just, I think this just loops back around to the mine. I'm pretty sure. All right. I'll check that. So I think this is where I got turned around before, right? Yeah. So yeah, I don't remember at all where that camp is. <laughs> I thought it was somewhere by the new camp, but... Maybe it was on the other side of that other river. I don't know. But, um... I think we can do some stuff to level up our combat skills, too. Excuse me, before we go back there, or just level up in general, so we have more health. I would like... Oh, you know what? Maybe it was here, by the uh, Velociraptors. Unless that was just a cave. It might have been just a cave. Yeah, not seeing much. Up this path, maybe? Yeah, it might have been up here. Oh, we just loaded in a chunk of the world there, I think, and that looks like a watchtower. So I'll save here, just in case. Yeah, this looks like it. And then they ran off to God knows where after I beat the gate guards. Yep, look at him run. Oh, he's still leading. 
He's still bleeding. Look at him run. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Ow, okay. I suppose you don't have nothing against me keeping some more. Let's see, supposedly you can... Yeah, there's just so many of them. I don't know what they're keeping there. Although, it looks like they weren't all... If I focus... It looked like there are only two archers, so maybe I focus them down before they can wound me too much, and then I can easily make work of the guards in, you know, within, like, three slashes. Still don't know what this camp is about yet, though. It's just like a random band of hostile uh, new campers. All right, let's see. Threat assessment. Uh, God damn it. What? Oh, yeah. he didn't take out his sword. Do they all use. I suppose you don't have nothing against me keeping the some arrow? More. I might just need the, uh, the heavy mercenary arm. But even then, they can. Like. All the armor that I've seen so far is pretty weak to range damage. I suppose... How much... Okay, we got 86 arrows, so that's enough to try stuff. We could try turning this into a ranged fight, which we would have the advantage because then we can back off and heal. Generally speaking. Okay. Not quite the advantage when, uh... Oh. No! What? Are they hitting me through the frickin' wall? That guy in the middle there looks different. If we killed him, I bet we'd get some answers. Oh, this sucks. I was really hoping to bait them around the wall. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're... Uh... I do not think we are... Getting in there anytime soon. Uh, the other thing we could try, I think to the left was more goblins, right? Could just kill some of them for the experience. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got swarmed. A couple of my hits didn't connect, so... So that's why they were able to gang up on me. Especially like that last hit on the first goblin. I could have knocked them out. And that would have given me some breathing room. Let's see. How close? Because I want to bait them into attacking me. There we go. Just so that way there's... Uh, see, the other ones come. They basically wait until they have full strength. I wonder. Uh, 
Come on. Woo. <laughs> ah, he's punching the goblins. Or is he trying to punch me? Get off of me. All right, so this plan has been somewhat successful. Was he blocking? Get out of here. Oh yeah, they have maces, so they're... Yeah, you better run. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Okay, good. He's still alive. And that will thin out the goblin horde a bit. So we should be able to press further, actually. Before that, though, let's heal. We did buy some chicken. There we go. All right, let's see how many more goblins are left. We probably took out half their number. What? Why? Okay, so there's some magic spells and stuff. They must be blocking something. It's like some of my hits are just straight up doing no damage. Oh, that is a lot of goblins. Well, there's two more at least. Oh, nope, don't get cornered. few more goblins dealt with. Man, it's a bummer I can't lead them into that camp, but they would probably target me first. But... Oh well. Alright. Let's eat some more meat. And this is going to kind of suck now that there aren't uh, animals around to kill for their meat. Counted them to extinction. And as such, I now don't have a large supply of healing items. <laughs> or at least a seemingly bottomless supply of healing items. Oh, one more kill and we should level up too, so that'll be nice. We have all these nice toys here that we can pick up. Stone root, spell scroll, ocean, journal page. All right. Uh, writings. I did want to look at the blood flies. About the flies, but in that place where the soil is damp and the air is humid, the flies gather attracted by the sweat of all kinds of beings. They use their stings to kill their victims and feast on their blood. To take such a sting is the art of many hunters in the swamp. Make a deep cut into the creature's abdomen, then cut in a zigzag line around the sting and remove it carefully 
together with the tissue, tissue surrounding. Let it bleed and scrape off the inedible meat. Okay, so it seems to be a document that tells us how to harvest their stingers. Uh, if we see any more blood flies, it will be interesting to see if that has any effect. All right, journal page, day 169. Today I'll make it. I know it. The gods will be with me. I've tried everything to kill a troll. The strongest steel had no effect. Arrows just bounced off as if his skin were made of stone. Now I'll use this magic scroll the merchant in Corinus sold me. It cost me 50 pieces of gold, gold, but with the profit I'll make with these trophies, I'll be rich. Today I'll kill a troll. Okay, so that's warning us that... Uh, actually, I'm just going to save in case reading that blood fly uh, thing had any effect. So that's basically warning us weapons are likely to be ineffective. There's our level up. Okay. Yeah, I can see why weapons might be ineffective. Would you look at that? Weapons are ineffective. All right, well, we killed the last goblin at least. So when we do face him in the future, it should be easier. But what we can also do is let's see what scroll we were given. We have two fireball scrolls, so let's see if those will do anything. I assume. Uh, what the hell? I, I don't know what he was doing there. Uh, I'm also not entirely sure of how to cast spells. I did it once. But. Uh, oh, we just threw it at him. Yeah, I can see how that might not work. Jesus, we threw that far for a piece of paper. What's in this cave, pray tell? Can he follow us in here? Is he going to be, like, small enough to fit through here? Apparently, I don't think so since I'm stopping to pick up mushrooms. Uh, chargeable... Why is that four show? Oh, there we go. Uh, Oh my god, it does like it does damage, but it's not a lot. Although ah. Let's see if I can uh no! <laughs> Alright, this will be my last bit of goofing around. So the fireball seems to be minimally affected. I don't think we have... We don't seem to have a skill for increasing the power of magic. I don't... Holy shit, he must have a lot of resistance, because we do... Mana cost is 5, we have 10. So in theory... Or, it's maxify. So in theory, we're doing 150 damage with a fireball. And we do, uh, like, 5% damage to him.
So let's see if we can be smart about this. All right, we may have to encourage him. There we go. All right, come along, my friend. Also, consider how much damage she's got to be doing to base. I mean, we're a little bit wounded. But he basically one-shotted us with our new armor. So he's got to have an attack. Uh, we can look it up later. but Or we can look it up now because he's not following. Uh, but we have health. Where is my health? There it is. So we have 160 health. And I forget how much... Oh yeah, and we have 55 armor. So he's essentially doing like over 200 melee damage in a single attack. Hey, ugly troll. Come on. Is this even hitting him? He's like not reacting at all. There we go. Oh, I wish I could look backwards while I run. Okay, he's still following us. He's still following us. He's still following us. He's still following us. Can he fit through here? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. Hi, I brought a troll to your a camp. Fight. I don't have the right weapon. Ah. Uh, this may work out. Cuz we should be just knocked out. Oh my god, he's like failing at hitting them or something. Oh, of course, somebody had to come over to steal my ore. Nope, he's running and panicking. They're both panicking now. Hey, he got one. Unfortunately, we won't get the experience for it, but... Wow, uh, this knockout is a long time. I don't know if we'd have... Assuming it is a knockout. I thought human enemies will generally just knock you out, but I don't know if that applies to arrows. I guess we'll see. He's coming back and ignoring the troll. Now he's running. Ooh, they have a cave. I didn't even notice that before. So in theory, I could dodge them and go into that cave. All right, the troll thinned them out. That's for sure. And it looks like he's about to beat someone senseless. Okay, game, how long? 
I wish it would tell me, like, am I actually dead or... I wish there was a skip time function so I could find out easier. Are we breathing? Are there signs of life? I think we might actually be dead. Either that or maybe they make it a prerequisite that someone has to rob you before you leave. In which case, maybe this guy will rob us, but we should be able to heal up and take him back down. Uh, if only campfires did damage here. Uh, okay, now I've lost all camera control. Oh, unfortunately, I think he did kill us. Although now, I do want to see if I can get into that cave. <laughs> At the very least, we know we can bring the troll in. Whee! All right. Uh. Dang it, I came down on the wrong side. <laughs> A fight! Whee! Yeah! Ah. Let's see. Yeah, I have zero life there. Wow, everyone's just taking their share, huh? Until there's nothing left to give. I don't know why I'm particularly focused on this camp. For all I know, it has story importance later, but. All right, so if I come down on this side, that should let me in the cave. Oh, not where I wanted to be. Serves him right. Damn it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, they do kill me. Okay. I'd rather kill you, but the ore is not bad either. Oh, it's okay. Someone else already killed me. All right. So they actually kill me. They are fighting with lethal intent. All right. Well, in that case, I'll just run around this troll. And see what he's hiding. A couple of bushes. Uh, some sort of winch. The winch is jammed. So that'll be a story thing for later, probably. And I'll have to kill the troll. But maybe they'll give me a super magic spell that will... Uh, That'll help me kill the troll. That, or maybe they'll explain, like, actually, a fireball removes his melee immunity. And you have to attack him while he's on fire. Or something like that. I could see that being the case. Ah, conveniently blocked door that the winch probably raises. Okay. So we're not getting any further in this direction. This seems to be locked off for story reasons. And who knows, maybe the troll gets a, a damage-resistant buff because we're not supposed to be fighting him yet. I do not know. 
But what I do know is it unfortunately does not look like we'll be able to take on this camp of uh, thieves and vagabonds. And that they'll have to wait for another time. But their time will come. It will. It will come. But with that being said, I think tomorrow we'll stop at the... Um, Um, not tomorrow, but um, when we resume, we'll stop at the old camp. We'll sleep off our damage so we don't use any more grilled meat. And then we will uh, obviously take on some more rice stew since that's probably going to start supplanting our... Or not rice stew, sorry. The um, meat bug stew. Because that's probably going to start supplanting our... Uh, grilled meat for healing purposes and then I guess we'll just explore over by the swamp camp uh, next time and probably continue the story but we can also see if there's any more orcs to kill so with that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then